Hello there, my name is Peter Vale, and welcome to Transforming Life Ministries. As we come into the festive season, I'd like to look at an old mystery, the question asked by many. What can help make us wise? Who in the Bible were deemed wise? Well, yes, the three wise men who came to Jesus whilst he was in a manger in Bethlehem. But they originally didn't know who or where was the new king of the Jews. These three wise men called in the Bible, in the original Greek, Magi, who were three Persian wise men. And years ago, the prophet Daniel was deemed much wiser than they. And in Daniel chapter 9, verse 26, gave a timeline for when Jesus would come. And through the ages, these Magi were basically descendants from that era. And so they knew what was going to happen. And this is confirmed when the Magi saw the sign of the king in the heavens. And these two correlated in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. So what is this star, his star in the east? Well, thank you to Mr. Stellarium, the mystery has been resolved. In the constellation Leo, the prince star Regulus has an interesting formation with Jupiter at this time. Jupiter first lowers as normal, but then rises back and past Regulus and does a U-turn and then continues as normal. This is a standard pattern in astronomy and is called retrograde motion. And it's, it's an optical illusion of something that seems to be going backwards when viewed against a more distant reference point. In the illustration, the location is Kabbalah, which is 40 kilometers west of the original per Babylon and Persia, because I don't actually have on that tool an actual site for Babylon. So it is seen in the eastern horizon just before morning. It's interesting, it takes about nine months for this cycle to complete, and the location of where it completes is the undercarriage of Leo. Hmm. I'd like to mention that there's an excellent teaching in detail on this subject by Pastor Mark Carell on YouTube entitled The Bethlehem Star, and I recommend it for anyone that would really like to get into a deep study on this particular topic. And in it, he brings out an interesting, spectacular formation with Virgo in what is referred to as the sign of the Son of Man. Here Virgo is clothed with the sun, the moon and under her feet, and on her head a garland of 12 stars. Where have I heard that before? This is also Revelation 12 verse 1, a topic for another time. But wow, isn't God awesome? So next time, we'll join the dots. I welcome your likes, comments and shares. Do you have ears to see? God bless you in Jesus' name.